Hello folks, this is an old question. It is 2005, May, June, paper 4 and the question number is 6. So they didn't have a paper 4, 1 or 4, 2 during those days, only paper 4. So it says that an ideal iron code transformer, so this is the transformer which has got uh, the core made of iron. It is to used to reduce the flux losses outside so that uh, the flux remains just inside here. It is translated as in figure 6.1. So explain why the supply to the primary coil must be alternating current not direct current so what happens here is when we have got alternating current what happens is uh, the current changes current changes current changes uh, in magnitude in uh, magnitude and direction as well so direction as well direction as well so which means that the flux over here, the flux link to this coil will be constantly changing. So flux link is flux link is constantly change, constantly changing, changing, which makes which makes which makes induction possible. It makes induction possible. But in case of DC, what happens is the current is constant, which means that the field lines will also be constant they will just expand like stay like this so there will be no sweeping at all no sweeping at all so when there is no sweeping there is no emf there now for constant input power so power input is constant the output current must decrease if the output voltage increases so that means if i have got constant uh, input power and if i assume that 100 percent of the power is transferred to the output it is not possible so this is power output and that will be equal to uh, I secondary into V secondary. So it means that uh, this uh, V secondary is inversely proportional to 1 by I S. So which means that if I S increases, V S decreases. And if V S uh, I S decreases, V S will increase as demanded by this question. So in the next question, well, this is a much more graphical question here. Figure 6.2 shows the variation with time t of the current IP in the primary coil. So this thing is the variation of the current in this primary coil. So it's sinusoidal curve as you can see. Now what we have to do is, uh, number one, commit figure 6.3 6.3 to show the variation with time t of the magnetic flux phi in the core. So we have to find the, uh, draw the graph for the variation of the flux magnetic flux or the the the, the, the uh, phi in the core so what we have is the magnetic flux phi and if phi is directly proportional to the current here so that's why uh, it follows the same pattern as the current which means that so when it is zero it is zero when it is at the top it's also at the top zero zero when at the bottom bottom again zero zero at the top top zero so it should go like this somewhat like this like this then like uh, this then again like this like this again like this like the same pattern same pattern here now in number two complete figure 6.4 this figure to show the variation with time t of the emf e induced in the secondary coil so this emf e will be equal to this e will be equal to minus d phi by dt so that means e is uh, proportional to the rate of change of flux but negative in value so here so here uh, let us say here so at this point flux is uh, maximum and constant so rate of flux, uh, change of flux is zero so at that time the value of e should be zero at this time also the rate of change uh, the value is a negative maximum but rate of change is zero so that's why it is like this like this and so on now here here if i see carefully the slope here is maximum it's a sine type curve so here the slope is maximum slope max means that this rate of change is maximum so this maximum and negative so the value of e should be negative maximum so 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 let us say this is the maximum negative value and here it is it has got a negative slope and maximum slope so slope negative maximum so negative negative positive the value of e should be highest there so there the value of e should be highest so if so it's the same case here it should have the lowest value and highest value so the graph should be 
somewhat like this like this so from here highest value like this then 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 like this and this and again somewhat like this so this is the pattern of the variation of the emf in the secondary coil hence state the phase difference between the current ip and the prime of in the primary coil and the emf e induced in the secondary coil so 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 the phase difference is simply you can see here uh, if this is di uh, phase difference means we have to explain in terms of angle so if this is the whole angle 2 phi 2 pi sorry this is pi this is pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 2 so as you can see the emf is at 0 0 pi by 2 uh, phase after pi by 2 phase after this phi so that's why the phase should be equal to pi by 2 radians pi by 2 radians actually what we should have done is uh, for in order to write these things we should have angle over here but for uh, ease uh, i wrote this actually i should have written this as t this is t by 2 this is t by 4 and this is 3 t by 4 and so on just to show the phase difference i wrote it somewhat like this so this is the correct answer